but is a, is a, is a big lack of financial management uh, for, for, for business owners. Um, so I'll use an example. Um, uh, you, know, you know, someone someone who is a very very good baker, and they know, they know how to how to bake something in oven and kim, which it means to be a know about uh, you know how to mix the icing and what ingredients to go in, and you know, so that's all quite specific technical knowledge, but um, they don't know where to to source a cheaper uh, uh, input into the baking to get flour or to get eggs from somewhere. Um, they don't know how to manage cash flow because they, they need to buy those those goods and they need to bake uh, those goods and they need to sell those goods. And that might take a couple of days for money to come in, but they need to buy more, more inventory. So how do they manage the cash flow? Um, maybe they need to bring on staff uh, for delivery or to help them bake or whatever. And they need to pay those staff. And again, so how do they manage the, the cash flow? So, you know, a, a lot of business owners, they work this out as they go along, but you know, that's the issue, right? So there's a big lack of financial management knowledge um, for, for startup businesses. And these businesses um, might take longer to grow because of that lack of knowledge. Um, um, one, of the, um, one of the other um, um, big issues I see is that businesses don't digitize their, their business offering. So, for example, I might see, uh, you know, I've, I've seen uh, a furniture store that did really, really well for a number of years selling furniture at a fixed location, right? They advertised, they published in the newspaper, and they lost the signage around the, 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 the premises. But year on year, they saw their sales declining. They saw, you know, they were getting squeezed by their suppliers. They were, um, you know, there were a lot of competitors that came into the market. Now, if you continue trading, like that business did, that business would go out of business within a number of years because it just wouldn't be able to survive. Um, and when I when I spoke to that business owner, he never had a website, he didn't have any social media or digital presence. And that I see is a is a common theme around a lot of small businesses that they don't have any digital presence. Um, and given given the way the world the way the world works now. Uh, if you don't do that, it's a, a big recipe for, for, for failure. So um, I think that's one of the, one of the other, the other uh, big challenges which I see from most small businesses. Um, and then lastly, and this is a little bit unrelated to the business itself, but more from a personal point of view, and that's being able to, to, to manage your personal finances and segregate them from the business effectively. Now, uh, what that means is that when you, when you do need to, Need to access credit, or even just apply for certain banking products with this credit risk. Um, uh, you will get declined by the bank if your own personal credit record is not well managed, um, and and um, that's really important um, um, because a lot of business owners tend to overlook that aspect. They say, well, my, "My business is doing really well. Um, why, you know, when I'm lending, I'm lending through the business itself. Why is my my personal credit record, um, you know?" Uh, being reviewed, um, and that's because you, as the the principal of that business, you manage that business's finances. So if you if you don't know how to manage your own personal finances, the bank is not gonna not gonna um, uh, uh, look favorably at at lending through your business, right? So um, that's really, really important: managing your own personal finances, making your your personal debt. Your personal account is, up, uh, is not overdrawn. It gets um, it's paid on time and full. Um, your debit orders don't bounce. Um, so that, that that's really really important. And that also comes uh, with that comes a very good segregation of personal business finances. So you know um, a lot of business owners say, oh no, but the, the business pays for all these things. Yeah, they cover the petrol, they cover the, um, the cell phone, they cover um, you know these personal expenses or whatever. Um, that's that's all, all, all fair and well if your financial reporting is good. But if it's not good, then you know you need to segregate those things. You need to make sure that you pay yourself a salary or a, or a weekly wage or whatever, and you cover your personal expenditure separately from the business. Um, so uh, I, I think these are these are a lot of the big challenges which I see from from business owners. And if you can, if you as a business owner can get over these things over here, you can definitely help scale your business faster than the, the bear would nearly have gone um, um, otherwise. This episode was powered by Futech.io. We take the guesswork out of decision making by matching buyers and sellers in an easy way. 
join our community. Africa is the fastest and biggest growing market. Become one of the pioneers in doing business in Africa. Um, whether you're out of Africa or looking to expand in Africa, futech.io, join the community and let's change Africa. Thank you so much. Take care till next time.